Okay, I'm back again. I'm doing a quick little review of my new alarm clock, and this sure in the hell isn't it. Here's my new alarm clock. This is a Philips AJL 308 clock radio picture viewer MP3 player. Just a bunch of things it does. I uh, mainly picked this up because my old one here that I've had for over 10 years, you know, has just died on me. The speaker no longer works, so can't be used as an alarm clock. And, you know, I went into Walmart. Was thinking about getting, you know, one of those cheap $9.99 or $20 uh, clock radios with like a CD player or something in it. And I was like, no, I don't really listen to CDs anymore unless it's in my car. You know, I really want something with an MP3 player on it. Pretty much, uh, this unit has been out for about four to five years. I saw it in the store, but, you know, when I went to go look at it, it was still $100. Uh, luckily enough for me, this was on the discount rack. Still brand new in the box, never opened for only $50. Uh, so I picked it up. I was like, I could spend about $20 or $30 more on an alarm clock. This, you know, got an MP3 and a video function on it. So I went ahead and did that. As for its alarm clock functions, uh, up here, you can see it has dual alarms, which is very important. My old one only had one. And, you know, it still has an FM tuner in it, so I can listen to morning radio, or you can set that as your alarm. Um, has a nice photo viewer. You can view photos either in the, uh, you know, the sh whatever you call that, slideshow uh, in the clock radio right here. Or you can actually select photos by clicking the button, and it should load up right quick. And you can hit OK and view those full screen. It looks pretty good. Get out of there. Well, you can actually just hit clock again and go back to your default screen with the photos showing. Uh, has an FM tuner, like I said. I'm just pressing buttons right now. And that's just a quick demo of the speakers, also. Don't want to play any copyrighted music since YouTube will probably pull my video down for that. So I'm not trying to cop get into any copyright infringements. Uh, there's also an MP3 function, and do I have any MP3 files on this card? Okay. All right, I have my small SD card plugged in right now, and I only have photos on it, obviously. But, you know, there's also a USB port here for you to plug in, you know, just a normal flash drive. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Here's your uh, source screen. Basically, you have to select one at a time if you're going to use the SD card slot or the USB. And I'm going to use USB right now. Just hitting the OK button right quick. And to get to my MP3s, I basically just hit the music button. And it gives me, you know, a little screen uh, with my music on here. And all I have to do to play it is press OK. The little buttons on the left-hand side give you, uh, you know play options you can go random repeat all and just pretty much anything else you can do on a normal mp3 player like I said I'm not playing any sound right now because of the copyright issues uh, you select tracks just by pressing this button right here stuff like that as far as the volume control uh, I actually like this one a lot better than a digital volume control because you know you can go through change things quickly uh, instead of having either dig through a menu system or hold down a weird button that you know doesn't just get the volume right like an analog tactile button would as far as the buttons the only buttons you really get are the alarm buttons here's your brightness control for either completely dimming the display so at night time it's not keeping you up and the alarm clock still functions um, even with the display off and you can have the mp3s running also um, there's little buttons on the side for digging through the menus there's an ok button there's all your functional buttons you have a main menu which allows you to adjust things such as the time the date the language the wallpaper uh, your presets for your radio and just a bunch of other things with the clock your clock button is basically they should have just put it as a default button because it brings you back to the default screen where it reads your time, the pictures, uh, the date, the alarm clock settings and everything like that. Your FM tuner is pretty simple also. 
in order to tune it you just hit the button on the right to tune the different stations uh, your presets are the left hand side button you can go through and set those up very easily your photo and video button is also just has its own button if you have photos and videos there would also be a video tab up here for you to select your videos and view those in full screen like I said there's your music button basically you can browse through your music files and the final sleep button like I showed you earlier is for that weird mood music which definitely won't help you sleep it'll probably keep you up anyway that was just a quick introduction uh, you know I'm probably going to wait about a week or so before I do a final review of this I'll let you know how easy it is to use and you know if I put any videos and things like that it's probably going to be non-copyright material uh, for obvious reasons I'll just demo how that looks on it in a later video but uh, anyway I'm going to get out of here but I would like you guys to rate this video you know that helps me get closer and closer to getting the partnership uh, also comment I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to be like why the heck did he get an expensive 7 inch touchscreen alarm clock and you know it's just something I wanted because I'm a nerd and I like high tech stuff and also if you're new you can subscribe and you know pretty much all of my videos are like this is going to be something cool and high tech for you to check out so go ahead and do that I'm going to get out of here I actually have to make about two new videos and those are about you know power and a power outage and that's sort of dealing with the generator video that I uploaded uh, just yesterday so Check back for those. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to get out of here. Peace.